Whammy Grammy Tyler. Whammy Grammy Alex. Welcome back. Welcome home. Feels like it's been forever. Yeah, we took a nice, uh, nice week off without posting or doing anything. So, uh, you know, I'm sure all five of you watching this thought we might have been done, but here we are. Not done yet. Still holding on. Just clinging on and probably have so much stuff to talk about after, a, you know, an extra week off. Yeah. Did you have an enjoyable time on uh, your American vacation? Uh, yeah, once could actually get there. I'm not going to get into the gritty of how insane it is, but just until it was actually there, it was like, oh, there's no way we're going to get there between all the tests you need and like flights getting canceled and everything. It was really not an ideal time to travel, but... But, you know, at least you got to spend some time in the sun and at the end of the day. That's all that matters, right? Yeah, cool. Yeah, it was nice, you know. Did a couple of kickflips, hit some golf balls. Filmed some uh, tricks? I filmed some tricks of other people. You didn't get any blips yourself? Uh, didn't even try, no. No? No, no, no. It, it, was a, it was a communal vacay. We were there with all the ladies. It wasn't just, you know, skate mission. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I, I was trying beers as well, so that plays in. Oh, drinking. Mm -hmm. You having some water today? Nice big yeah. glass by the looks of it. Rehydrating. Big big glass straight gin oh no yeah I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna i'm gonna nix it for a while you know yeah yeah a little cool. swan song there will last for off for at least a while right on what about you alex what happened to you in the last week anything devastating yeah uh not that i want to get too much into it either on the show but uh classic case of lost the hard drive that all that i've been storing all of the footage on so um gonna have to you know figure something out animate it yeah i don't know there's enough enough things were backed up on other drives that there can still be a video there will be some lost tricks forever most likely but um i haven't started uh actually looking at what's gone yet because th soon. that'll be a, a terrible time so that's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking to hear, Alex. Um, you know, I, I didn't have a full part, but I think I had the better part of a part for your video. And if that's gone, you know what? That's fine. I, th I think I still have your clips. What was it? There was a lag. A oh, lag man. on the S? Well, because there's the clip, and then there's, like, the better <laughs> version of the clip, if you, <laughs> if you can recall. If I can catch your drift. Man. Oh, yeah. Right on. Well... That's stinky. Mm -hmm. Anyways. How'd, how'd you feel about taking that on? week off? Did you like it? Uh, it makes not much difference to me now that I barely do anything for this show other than this part of the, the conversation. So, uh, I, same. I'm I sure mean, for I you it was better to not have to edit for a week. Yeah, for sure. I, hey, I was going to at least do part of it. I tried to call you up to do the show and... Uh, you were dead to the world. You looked like an actual corpse. Yeah, I was hungover. And, but then, so you didn't want to post anything about how we weren't doing it either? Because I didn't want to, but... S data, Romy, man. True. Yeah, Cash no Wi-Fi money. out there. They don't have it yet. Right arm, right arm. So, uh, I mean, I got obviously the biggest thing the last couple of weeks, Shaq's off plan B. Oh, Yeah. I actually saw that and like immediately <laughs> didn't care and forgot and like, was never going to think about it again. I wrote it down. I was like, oh yeah. And I was like, wait, this isn't a thing. Is, like, is uh, Sandlot Times a board company now? Is that what's going on? It's his training facility. But I, they make, they have decks. I couldn't tell you. Uh, he's on his own path now. Yeah. But now that he's I, a married I, man, lost his virginity again. <laughs> you saw those interviews, right? Yeah, yeah, we 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 did this we on this show. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was like a two part series we did. Uh, not yeah. really, but um, yeah, lost it, found it, and then lost it again. So yeah, right so now shows. now he's you know he's growing back up. Got to move on to something a little different than uh, the old Plan B board sponsor. So hopefully that Sandlot, you know, skate park board company apparel. You know, it looks like they're doing the whole thing, so hopefully that works out well for him. I saw Rowley in there, so, you know, maybe he's getting on Free Dome. That'd be cool. That would be yeah. cool, but that's not going to happen. Uh, in a post, he said, 
You know, it was a good 16 years of Plan B, and that really caught me off guard. Did it? Was it? Like, they've been back for 16 years already? So, that sounds about right yes. to me, but... Yeah, I he's, don't know. He's been in the game for a second, then. 16 years on Plan B. He was on almost for, you know, some years. He was on, World. like, World. Yeah, probably Termite before that. I think World was the, the first, wasn't it? Ah, who knows? No, he was actually... Uh, just at very tail end, he was a founding member of uh, Bones Brigade. Well, not founding, but after the initial group, he was like right at the end. I can't tell if you're trolling. No, he was. He was like, <laughs> he just like would take the little test tube and like just dump out the like, all right. So you are trolling. I am trolling. That was, yeah. I don't know how many years before his birth. So yeah, I don't know. It's all anything before plan B is all the same to me. Like new plan B. It's all just old. Yeah, there's life before Plan B relaunch and after. I don't care about anything before. No, me neither. Right on. Yeah, what else? What else happened in the skate news? In the skate news, reporting it. Uh, and that Nick Garcia part. Did yeah. You enjoy? Did you enjoy it? Ask you first, money. Okay. Money. Well, the way that you say said man that. and buddy, and then I said money. Okay. New Doyle. Okay, nickname. money. Um, <laughs> I. Money Doyle. The way that you you brought it up saying that people seem to like it made me think that you didn't like it uh i didn't mind it i went into it having only seen one screenshot on insta of him hooking his feet under his board and jumping a picnic table <laughs> so i was i went in with strange expectations because nick garcia didn't seem like the type of guy that i would think to do a trick like that so i was like what's going on here is he about to like try to switch up his swag because well, he's just such a to me, when I think Nick Garcia, I just think of, like, a good skater, does, like, good tricks, basic shit, nothing crazy. But then there was, like, it, I also don't, I, I couldn't name another Nick Garcia trick before this part, you know? Like, I don't really care too much about um, his skating. And then it ended up being very unexpectedly something, like, like it felt like he was really trying to do something very different with the ledge dancey stuff and um, the, you know, picnic table jumping com combos you know i don't know what you'd call it um yeah. i mean he he was skated with matters apps for some years you know he, that's gotta that's gotta have an influence but like what was his last part at news video or something like that i don't know i think whatever's last part was good though because i remember it being like oh uh element i think yeah i don't remember a trick from it but i remember i, remember I feel like i remember it not being like doing like he so wasn't many. grabbing his board as much. Yeah, and like sure. ledge combos and stuff like that. He didn't seem like much of like a... a I wouldn't have expected him to do a triple slap nose slide. to tail the <laughs> nose or whatever the hell. Um, but he, he kind of... slapped it on there a bunch. Looked kind of cool. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I think the last couple things he's seen, like he's definitely started out more like some just like Julian Davidson type dude. And then I, I think, think kind of... Maybe. But they're I just like some be, blonde yeah. skateboard kids that are like pretty good, but... Not really standing out. And then uh, I think he started doing his own thing. And then this one, he really mixed up a batch of uh, ledge tech. Um, I, I, there, no, I liked it. I, I felt know. there was a little much. I, I could have gone without a few of the, you know, super out there ones. Yeah, I don't need the half cab nose slide to John West slide body that burial. That's gross, yeah. That's gross. Had he been the first crazy. person I've ever seen do like that under the Ivy thing, maybe, but we've seen it. Or before. if he had just done it better. It just that one was pretty it felt very like sloppy, like it just kind of fell in and out of that John West grind thing. But I don't know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, he, he definitely grabbed his board a lot more than I was used to seeing, but I mean, there was stuff happening, looked good. Mm -hmm. Down. I liked I oh and the thing about the uh what do you even call it where you hook your fucking Toes uh, board. gorilla grip is that, is that what it is i, I think i think so it's, the, that might be at, like at both ends yeah the gorilla grip straight over the table i thought was cool because i kind of went into it expecting that that like that would be like they'd make it like some crazy triple angle like look at how he hooked his toes under but it just kind of went by and i was like oh, i man, have to rewind like, it because i was like they showed like no run up you expect to have like some that, long though. lens like yeah. that or something but, but then it kind of ruined that one for me when he then did the gorilla grip to 50 monkey flip out and yeah then, really the full primate at to uh, fakey i think as well um wait did mr buddy barrel yeah i think they needed just, both I didn't think they needed both. 
Did you say you did think he, they needed both? I did not. Oh, yeah. I, th I, th I think yeah. the straight over seems just... Much yeah, or maybe you, one could argue you didn't Wait, need either. Which, yeah, which one would you have taken if it was your part and you could only have one of those gorilla And I had gorilla grip monkey flips to spare? Uh, I would go with the straight over table. Two. But I'd probably have gone with a, a long lens angle. It does seem scary to do it into a 50, because if you don't lock in right, your board's flipping over, but your toes are already on the other side of it. So, like, what kind of... You maybe you get yeah, like some feet get your leg in, in there. Yeah, right in there. Um, but yeah, I just didn't really want to see that one, personally. But you saw it now, and you can't take it back. And in a couple of months, when we see him do it long ways over table, then what? There's no way. How many times do you think that his feet, his, like, toes slipped <laughs> off, and he just jumped over the table? Probably a so lot? many. I don't even understand how that works with shoes on. For sure, it takes his insults out. Wait, or cups does he like? Is one foot like hooked? I don't know. I can't tell. Or you're like squeeze. Uh, they got to be pretty hooked under there. Definitely take some insults out of your shoes if you're trying that. Maybe his Etnies shoe has like a little groove in it. Because how would we know? Well, do we do a challenge for this week to do our best gorilla grip trick? Oh my god! I don't think I could get it off. Yeah, but I don't even know if I could get it off the that ground. Could, it could be ride. Seems painful. All right. I'm going to give it a go. Get I'm only a size, size eight. I'm going to have to scale my shoe. Yeah, you could try out my 7.0 Powell deck that I triple trade the other day. Oh, that one just got in here seamlessly, eh? That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of when you're talking about Gorilla Grips, you could Makes almost sense. Gorilla Grip it with your heel and your toe. It's so small. Gorilla Grip with your zebra or cow grip, whatever mm -hmm. it is. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. I am going to borrow that board for it, if you don't mind. Sure. Right on. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty innovative of you. Mm. It was kind of ne next up, I think. Like, the the small board, at least, like that one, the double tray feels pretty good on it. And uh, I was flipping some... I think I landed upside down on a, like, three and a half. I was trying some quad flips. Um, but then the triple one... Just kind of happened fast. Tried to do another one, couldn't do it, but the that first one worked. Quad flip. D. Mm. I mean, I imagine a triple. You're already kicking as hard as you can. Do you just try to jump higher for that one? Way yeah. longer in the air. Mm -hmm. Exactly that. Aren't you like scared of just demoing your feet when you're trying all these innovative moves? Not really. I don't know. They seem or, fine. I did see. About, uh, kind of unrelated i saw a guy do i think i think it was called a triple flare on a bike like he does like a triple backflip and then at the got end that one sent to me cat. by a buddy uh just yesterday yeah it's pretty sick yeah he goes like full triple backflip and then i guess yeah half cab how do you it. do that how do you do the half cab after the triple backflip like how do you get that rotation you don't even know you're, ro you're asking me at that point yeah did you like was... how quickly he like gets off his bike to celebrate I think I was just shocked waiting for it to loop again and didn't even like look at what he was doing after. But honestly, three second rule and I, I don't think it's a land. Really? He jumps right off? Nah, he lands it pretty clean. Yeah. Do, what do you, how do you feel about, I mean, maybe that one's not built specifically for it, but it kind of looks like yeah. built to do a trick. You'll get this more in like BMX or snowboarding and stuff where they'll like make building such that crazy ramp setup. for that trick. Yeah, or like, you know. I mean,. I, I think it's totally fine. I don't I don't give a fuck. Like if you're doing a trick like that, like go ahead and build the it's just the, like steep quarter into the less steep quarter or whatever it is, or like it's the it's basically like like having those mega ramps that have like soft shit on them, you know? Like it's the same idea. Yeah. Where, it's know. almost always like a, a Red Bull thing though. Like saw one of uh Mark McMorris, it was like world's first front board double cork rodeo or whatever and it's just like a kicker <laughs> with a rail going straight out of it where you're like yeah you're like yeah there's no weight and you're like i guess but i, don't I know. think it's fine i but i also i'm not i i i don't pay attention to those extreme sports enough to like care at all if like something's legit or not i just see like the explore page of it i don't like follow bmxing and be like oh this guy's whack because he always he always does the innovative trick, but not in the streets, you know, like, or whatever. People Is that, that why action. you haven't built, you haven't built an obstacle for the triple heel? Is that why? I don't know what's up with the triple heel. I think I need a regular size board for it. And just like lots of time of trying over and over. You got a full year, you claim, because you're dancing around, you're tripling trays, you're quadding flips or attempting to. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, no, I don't know. I don't know. I, I did try some flip nose manis. Yeah? Yeah. Kicked and? it off the pad a few times. Hell and then, right. uh Slap the then, nose down at all? I think like once kind of, not really. But then I was like, I should probably do a nose mani first because it's been literally a decade since I've done one nose mani, the only one I've ever done. And I couldn't do one. Get close though? Balance any? Balanced one, yeah. About half. Felt like it was at the end, but I'm halfway across, you know. Not very They're good. They're stressful. I don't know how people do them or why. Well, I know why. Yeah, it's hard. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. And will have a lot of trouble with the flip in. But I think... Uh, I You're think better I need... at kick flips, though, than all Yeah, I think I need... Uh... There are a lot of people there that day, so there's a lot of pressure to, to show off. I think I need, like, some time alone there to spend, like, a straight hour just, you know, ollieing on over and over and over and not doing a nose mani, you know? Do you have but, two uh, setups, or do you just ride that Powell board? I got four. <laughs> okay. Powell, Powell mini board that includes mini trucks. I got, got the tiny 6.9 Thunders. Um, normal size, 825. Just for regular uh, riding? Yeah, that's yeah. so it's like the triple flip board, the double flip board. Got the big <laughs> cruiser, which is more of a single flip board. And then rain board, which is, you know, could do anything on it if I really wanted, probably. Damn. Sounds bad, though. Quite the quiver. And it's cracked. Shit. Yeah. Right yeah. Decided I did only have that tiny power board set up with normal trucks for a bit and realized, you know, it is fun. But like sometimes I want to also have a normal size deck. So I just went and Christmas completed them, you know. Yeah, you don't want to have the funny little board when you're sitting there in a small little area and guys are clugging clan Plugging cans at the end of the session. You Plug flip it around. Clans. Yeah. On their yeah. phone. Clash of Clans, right? True. You guys, is, is that a game that people play? Clash of cl uh, Yeah, something like that, I think. I think, it, I think there's also Clash Royale. Come on, you're in the industry. You know this stuff. Yeah, that's uh, that's the old, the old me, the mobile gaming Doyle. Yeah. That was a different Doyle. Word. Right on. Yeah. What'd you think of uh, Austin Gillette finally putting out something for Globe? Yeah, I thought um, not finally, but... I thought it was kind of interesting to call it an Austin Gillette part, personally. There was like so much of everyone else that it, it didn't really feel like part, just felt like a montage and like a welcome to the team. But um, that's cool. I think uh, I think it's a start of, of if they don't somehow change their mind and blow it, like it would it would be interesting to see Globe in like five or ten years to see if it's going to be cool the way that they're trying to make it. Yeah, it that's be. like... It's a real overhaul. Like, it's definitely more of a huffish. I mean, not quite, but like the thing they're kind of trying to do there. Gotta appreciate mm -hmm. that. And leaving Appleyard on there, you're like, okay, you're swaggy enough. You get to stay. Yeah, yeah. Appleyard and Rodney too. What? Rodney Mullen? Oh, he's still he's still in there. Didn't have a trick in there. Didn't have a trick, no. But if you go to the Globe team site, I went to I went to uh, the Globe <laughs> site afterwards because I wanted to check the name of that. Uh, that Chet 4 mid-top shoe to see if it was available in Canada yet. And while I was there, I checked out the team page. They got a lot of non-skaters on there, but the skate team is Sammy Montano. Sammy Montano or Mon Mon yeah, Montano. Uh, Montana. Is it Montana? Whatever his name is. Um, that other guy whose name I forget. Daniel Kim, I think. And then uh, Austin, Appleyard, and Rodney Mullen. Um, and you can't kick off about Rodney, I guess. Update about the shoe. Could could find it in um, some Canadian shops, so the shipping wouldn't be the issue. But at $130, I think I'm going to have to pass on this one. You're getting like twice as much shoe as a normal pair, so it makes sense it would cost way more money. They're like sucking out the inside of the Chet 4 and like moving it up to the, to the mid, you know? It is the same amount of shoe, probably. I just feel like for a guy who dropped, you know, probably like a half rack on that Olympics jacket. <laughs> that this would be nothing. Half rack on that? It was 40% okay, off maybe like, shit. like an eighth of a rack. What is that? $125? That's actually probably pretty good. Close. What's a rack? A thousand, right? If you have to ask. You can. I, don't, I don't know. Um, I've been told it's a thousand. 
yeah, anyways, so I, I considered it again, once again, if, the, if anyone that knows anyone at Globe here wants to somehow send over a pair of those, the white ones, I'd wear them. You heard it here first, he'd be wearing them on the show, you have to kick your feet off, show it off. That'd be so sick to have those, but not have to pay for them. That would be sick. Yeah, I mean, I don't know Rodney personally, or Apple Yard, so I can't be the plug here. Neither. Look at me. I talk like such a young person. Rack. Plug. plug. Yeah. Fuck. I'm getting younger by the day. There's do you also... Think, um, but... Do you think Austin Gillette ever refilms a trick because he forgot to bend down after? No. I bet it's happened. Or or he'll... Maybe, maybe, but like, he'll just say it felt sketchy or something. For sure. Maybe he doesn't yeah. go and say it, but he's like, and then just like really gets that delayed crouch. It's wild. It's not like he lands like that. That'd be one thing if he held it. It's like, kinda, it happens like it, after. Though. I'm down. Nah, nah, man. That after school modeling. I would Wait, put I can't, I'm not allowed ago. to be down. Well, I don't like him doing it, and I'd rather if you didn't encourage that. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying I don't mind it, and I like it. Well, you advocating this kind of behavior to our upwards of a dozen viewers is yeah. encouraging that. I would like to see more people do stuff like that. Maybe less hard tricks, though. What if like every time you landed, you just like turned around and faced backwards from where you're riding? Just like always like looked hard thing. back. Yeah. If you made it your thing, sure. You should get a landing thing. Something like done. Just like always like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I could try that. <laughs> yeah, you stomp it, make a nice. Just a quick like, one. I don't think it'd be good yeah. for the shoulders. Or just like, yeah, you pray. Okay, you can swag it out all slow, like Austin Gillette would. I put would. my hands in my pockets or something immediately. Oh, I just struggle to get him in there. <laughs> yeah, or, or just like wear like big enough pants or like cut like big pockets into them so I can just quickly slide them in. So you can always get him in there. That would be good. Or like, like immediately just, pull stuff recover. out of my pockets. Just pull like, out like, receipts and shit. Not necessarily like my phone or wallet, just like have like funny shit in my pockets, land a trick and like immediately pull like a, a mandarin orange out of my pocket. Or Boom, something. rubber duck. Eating it. Done. Oh, that would be good. Always just eating something. That like would be so, most cash. So quickly pull like some timbits out. <laughs> Loose timbeebs in there? Yeah. Oh my god, that would be swag. If you pulled it out of like this freaking timbeebs fanny pack, people would really think you're swaggy. You'd be like no, no, trying to rack on that probably. No, because you don't want, I want someone for if there is the first time watching me skate, like they wouldn't, they wouldn't know until afterwards that something was up. Like if I had the fanny pack on, they'd be like, why is this guy wearing a fanny pack? It's more like, True. Boom, like bolts, kicky down three. And then it's like, oh, nice kicky. But then before they can even finish that thought, <laughs> I'm pulling out some small You're just donuts. peeling an orange. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like the idea of you landing sketchy and having to recover and then really quickly fumble around. Yeah, I think. You'd be like, one more. It took me like too many sidewalk blocks to get this milkshake out of my pocket. Yeah, it's like that thing where like, um, where like people, I remember Mike Mo had those clips in Fully Flared where he'd like, yell in the air to like not think about the trick to be able to land it yeah. it might help me land tricks because i'm like thinking about having to reach into my pockets upon landing so i'll be thinking about that rather than thinking about how many times i can land one footed on this kickflip down three i like the idea of you overthinking it and then jumping the gun and putting your hands in your pockets and then landing primo and getting your hands stuck in there yeah that'd suck i don't think that would happen though no you probably land bolts hands in pockets right away pull out you know bunch of timbits and a tuna sandwich or whatever yeah that's a good one yeah i, I can't wait to see that it'll it, we can make it happen or when yeah. you slam with all this food in your pocket yeah what wouldn't necessarily even have to be food well i mean the examples you gave her food so if you just slam and then a tomato explodes people are like what the fuck that would be funny slam and like there's like it looks almost like blood but not and it's like what just happened that'd be funny have you ever but... seen anyone like do that like just blood packets or something that they slam onto it so it squirts out like intentionally that'd be funny i don't think i've seen that i'm sure it's happened oh my god do one like build out like a wig in the back of your toque and just like whammy your dome whammy grammy your dome if you put it like i'm gonna hide some like ketchup packets in the back of Fane's hat, and then I only have to wait like a week till this happens. Smokes what about the dome, squirts what out. What about the time when, uh, when someone at the shop, at probably Colin or Kane at the time, uh, took Josh's bearings out of his wheels and replaced them with plastic bags? <laughs> yeah. So he like grabbed his board and threw down, and he didn't have bearings, he had plastic bags there instead. 
I think he like took it and was like, oh, okay, I'm going to the plaza. And then I think Colin chased after him because he's like, fuck, I don't know. He might just like, I thought what if we're there from out the window of him throwing oh. down or maybe oh, that was, some, maybe that was something else. Maybe. Cause I remember I call, I think being like, oh no, like what if he rolls up and it's like, Josh kick a big three or something. And he like, I don't know, somehow falls down. Yeah. I don't think he'd make it far enough to fall he might. badly. I don't like know. Like riding without bearings and plastic bags instead. That time, uh, Brady. Hey, do you know what's crazy? Shop. Oh, what? I'm sorry. No, you can go. Your sounds um, very exciting. Just talking about plastic bags, so they, they banned plastic bags in Vancouver, maybe all of BC, but then also will charge you for, for paper bags at places like McDonald's. What? Like, they ask you if you want a bag, and if you say no, they just hand you your items, like, through the drive <laughs> Like, here are your fries, and here's your other stuff. Like Just loose shit. <laughs> yeah, 20, 25 cents if you want a fucking, like, McDonald's bag with your order. Did you say no recently and get handed a bunch and, of fucking nuggets? And there's a, I think there's a cup thing too. I went to Tim Hortons today and there was an extra 25 cent charge for a cup. What if I said What no? are they going to do? Pour it in your hands? Yeah, I don't know. You want that coffee in a cup, buddy? Huh, rich I, guy? I think it, that one I think is to encourage like reusable cups, I guess. But like. Wh- That's your whole business is cups. What if, I, what if I just want the Tim Hortons cup? I paid, <laughs> like I didn't have an option. Then you just bring a Ziploc yeah. bag and they pour loose coffee in it. That would be funny to just like be like, no, I don't want the cup. And then just bring just something stupid. Like just give them your backpack or something. Like yeah, figure out like, how to make this work for it. Yeah, you guys don't offer cups like apparently. Pocket. It's up to me to determine how to transport this. I'm not made of cups. Yeah. But I happen to have, you know, this old newspaper. So fill it up. Yeah. It's uh, it's cool stuff. The McDonald's one is funny. Cause you're like, yeah. okay, but you'll still package all the things. Like you put the nuggets and pack, like everything's in its own package anyway. Well, I guess then in that case, it's like, what if I was like, can I get 25 cents off? And you just give me the fries with no fry thing. Just hand me them. So I yeah. don't have to pay for the fry container also. It's a slippery Wonder. slope, man. Yeah. I think the whole idea is kind of a little bit stupid, but that's just a guy like you that likes to order a handful of items from like a Wendy's or a, or a Dairy Queen maybe. No more Dairy Queen after I had the stomach issue from that one. Right. If I'm going to get like six or seven junior bacon cheeseburgers one day, I'm going to be able to juggle oh, those yeah. all without a bag. I thought, I thought we were, we were going to be seeing that one with some, uh, you know, classic Arizonian Wendy's, but... Um, I forgot about it completely or I definitely would have hit it. That's okay. I'm sure there's other things about the show that we've all forgotten about, but I have not forgotten about the fakey flip back tail that we're still waiting for. Yeah, that one I'm feeling pretty good about in whatever year this is. I don't know, edge box? Low one? I don't go there. That's a good point. I wouldn't either. Um, That's it, yeah. man. That's it, that's all. Yeah, I didn't even talk about the weekend video. It happened. You ever Is find the last the guy weekend... going pro, like, sarcastic? I don't know. Sorry, I just feel like it, it's just funny because uh, anytime I see a weekend video, I know I enjoy it. But I like don't know who's on the team, and then I see like the list, and it's like, oh yeah, he's on it, or who's that? Yeah, every time there's a bunch of guys, and I'm like, yeah, it's all enjoyable, and they all kind Karsten, of usually look the Karsten same. Karsten Kleppen? Like I know the guy, I know that guy's skating a little bit, but every yeah. time he's in a weekend video, I'm like, he's on this. Every yeah, time. He, he hasn't been in like six in a row, and they're like, oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, it's really strange. Um, Good for them, keeping it fresh, you know. Yeah, and they had a Keep, t- the, keeps you guessing. One of the very first texts on the screen was a typo. I thought that was kind of strange. I thought it was a joke, but then nothing else was spelled wrong. What did it say? It spelled distance wrong. They, I think they added an extra S. That sounds sick. Like, the play on words. Yeah. Anyways, that was enough talk about the weekend video. Good video, though. Enjoyed it. Whammy Grammy! All, all those guys on the team. All right. Whammy Grammy.